Hello everybody. Are you tired of researching a topic and not having any fun? Are you, do you love fiction but wanting to get a bit of facts with it? Try reading The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. Follow the Kane kids, Sadie and Carter, as they go on one epic adventure. What happened to their mother the night she died at Cleopatra's Needle? What happened to their father after he got slammed into a sarcophagus, which is like a fancy coffin, which sunk into the ground immediately after? Is their Uncle Amos really a godling to set? Find out in this amazing book, The Red Pyramid. I'm going to be reviewing all about things that are. The main character of this story is Alicia. She is one of the most popular kids in school. She did not pay attention to what she was doing and she bumped her head. She became blind. She learned how to readjust to the world that includes reading, typing, and she was actually one of the top in her class. So she meets this boy, his, na his name's Bobby, and they actually end up becoming boyfriend and girlfriend. He is invisible and <laughs> he is invisible and so he goes to music school in New York and he meets this girl named Quinn and he, re he reveals a secret about being invisible. While he's there he meets another boy named w William and they're kind of enemies so William comes to where Alicia lives and bombs the local library, library and he comes to Alicia's house and Alicia answers the door and lets him in. She knows what's going on and still lets him in. So she locks him in the basement. To know what happens next, read Things That Are. It, this is by Andrew Clements. Thank you so much. I'm doing um, the book Guardians of Gahul. Book six, The Burning, by Catherine Lasky. The owls of Gahul and of the owl world are at war with the pure ones. The war is won by the guardians, and the pure ones are weakened massively. And now they are hiding in the in the canyons of the Saint Augie's, um, the Saint Augie's orphaned. Well, St. Argy's School of Orphan for Orphan Dolls. The end. I'm going to talk about The Raft. It's by S.A. Bodden. Robbie is the main character. She's 15 years old. She lives on a small island in Midway. She's visiting her AJ in Honolulu, Hawaii. She is having a good day. She went shopping and got her nose pierced. When her aunt had to leave for a business trip, she argues to stay. Her aunt let her stay. <laughs> as long as her aunt's friend Bobby checks in on her every day. Bobby calls and says he can't do it, but Robbie doesn't tell her aunt, so she got to stay home. Once her aunt AJ left, she went to the pool and got Starbucks. When it was time to eat, she went and got McDonald's. On her way back, on her way back this guy thought she, she was a girl named Lucy and attacked her. Once she got away she ran back to the room and looked at the flights back to Midway. She went to bed and in the morning she packed her bags and went to the airport. She found a pilot named Larry that she knew and asked him if she could get a ride on the flight. He said yes. On the way back there was a loud boom. One of the engines went out and you'll have to read the book that to find out what happens next and I would recommend this book. And this is a story about Billy Joe and her family escaping the Dust Bowl. Um, her mother dies partway through it from catching on fire during the Dust Bowl. And she has a little brother named Franklin. And, her fa and Billy Joe's father thinks that it's all Billy Joe's fault for killing her mother, but it wasn't. And it's a real good story, and I think you guys should read it. The book I'm going to do on is I Funny. It's a really good book by James Patterson. Um, it's about a kid in a wheelchair who had a lot of hard times because his mom, his dad, and his sister all died in a car accident. He was there too and his, he hurt his legs. So he had to go to a hospital and for about a year and then he went to his uncle and aunt because they adopted him. And um, 
they, he calls their his aunt and uncle and their t two sons and daughter. And they, he calls them the Smileys because they never smile. And he calls and they live at Smileyville. And, and the dog hasn't wagged his tar tail in three years, which is 21 in dog years, is what he said. And then um, there's this bully at school, and it turns out to be his adopted brother. So that went bad. Um, he lives in the garage, which uh, is good because he can have the garage opener right there, and he just opens it and goes inside. And um, there's also, he goes to, his uncle Frankie works at a restaurant. He's a chef for the restaurant. He's a professional yo-yoer. And um, so he told him about a comedy um, competition in New York City. So he went, he didn't know what he was gonna do, then he uh, said that he was gonna do it. And so he went there and tried out and he ended up winning. But the only thing was is he made fun of his, all his friends and family during that. And so, but he ended up going to the next round and he felt very bad because he was um, being mean to all those friends. Um, so you'll just have to read the rest to find out what happens. Girl Stolen is about a girl named Cheyenne Wilder who is sick with pneumonia and she is blind. She asked her stepmom if she could stay in the car while she goes and picks up her antibiotics. When her mom went to in the doctors, Cheyenne realizes the car is being stolen. Griffin did not realize, did not mean to kidnap che Cheyenne. Once Griffin's father found out her dad was the president of Nike, he held her for ransom. Will she live or will she die? I recommend this book to you if you like mystery and suspense. The Book of Dog's Life is about a dog named Squirrel. She is not the, she isn't the same as most dogs. At the beginning of her journey, she has two companions, her mom and her brother Bone. But when her mom disappears and Bone and Squirrel are separated, she must learn to fi she must learn to face the truth of the world. Will all hope be lost? No. Squirrel soon meets a younger dog named Moon. They journey together for many months and seasons until Moon is hit with a truck. Squirrel is now forced to live with the beggars who soon forget she's even there. On her own, she is forced to live on her own until one day she learns to trust a human. The book that I'm going to talk to you about is called Mark of the Thief. It's about the slave who, he was captured and his family is, was not rich. And now it is him and his sister against this one um, slave owner whose name is Sal. There's this Bula, which is this right here on the cover. And he, he, the general of the army, which he steals Bulas and takes them, will, wants to destroy Rome because he overheard him and his um, soldiers talking about it. Now, so he sends Nick into a secret cave that has the bulla, and so then um, Nick gets it, but he gets attacked by this griffin, and the griffin is not nice. But then Nick puts on the bulla, and the griffin starts obeying him and doing whatever he wants him, her to do. They escape from the cave just before it collapses and then they um, fly up and then they get caught again when they land because they fell asleep from how tired they were, which sounds like something that I would do. Really, the, he goes on this adventure and then he tries to stop General Radoff from destroying the empire of Rome. I'm going to tell you about the books The Seraphina and the Splendored Heart. The main character is Seraphina. She is a soul or a dead girl. The author of this book is Robert Betty. The genre of this book is fantasy fiction and 
Serafina, she is a beautiful, young, kind, loving girl, and everybody, almost everyone loves her. Then one day, she she's hanging out with her best friend, Brayden, and someone attacks her, but she doesn't know who, because next second, she dies. When, but she doesn't know that yet, and so she, so she tries to talk to people, but she can't. And they don't see her, and she can see them, but they can't. One day, she goes to the cave where the person who killed her is. Her name is Rowena. And she's the only one she can talk to because she, Rowena, can speak to dead people and alive people. At the end, she's finally able to talk to people and enjoy being around people that she is with. So I recommend that you read this book.